Um, in case you guys want to see something embarrassing, this is my ceiling. I used to have two really giant Twilight posters sticky taped to my ceiling. I am going to redecorate my room. My room at the moment is a complete, like, a bomb has exploded. So this is currently my office. I have a white desk here. Um, two cork boards there, a little shelving unit, a seat that's covered with stuff, and a bookshelf. And over here I have like my wardrobe which is like where I have all my clothes and stuff and postcards just lining it up. Here I got three boxes from Bunnings, my local hardware store. There's going to be a trash box, a sell box and a keep box. Um, bookshelf I kind of want to get rid of. I feel like a good way for me to minimalize my spending and consumer purchases is to just have as little space as possible so that I don't feel the urge to like buy things. So I am going to try and get rid of some of the books which is going to be really hard because I love my books. This TV and this desk I'm going to give to Matthias to put into his room for his office so he can like play Halo and stuff. So I really want to get rid of this desk and get something a little bit smaller because I don't actually need that much space. Also, the other thing is that I think I'm not even going to use this room as my office. I think I'm going to transfer my bedroom into here because as I said, this is my closet inside with all my clothes and I feel like it just makes more sense to have my wardrobe and my bed in the same room. I'll give you a quick little tour of what my wardrobe looks like right now. I don't know why this postcard is upside down. Um, so this is my wardrobe right now. I have like Ikea shelving units which has all my clothes which obviously I really want to get rid of a lot of my clothes. I hang most of the clothes that I wear often or like the nicer clothes and I have this shelving storage boxes from Ikea which have like my jewelry just random tidbits which I really want to sort through eventually yeah up here we have like some storage stuff like my arts and craft I also have like these little cork placemats which I put like photos and stuff but I haven't really done much with that I don't think I'm gonna fuss too much with my wardrobe for now I just really want to get my room painted and just move my bed into here. So I'll take you to my bedroom, which is where I'm going to make my office, I guess. Like transfer, swap the rooms around. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to transfer this space, which is my bedroom right now, into my office. This wardrobe is a lot smaller and that was the reason why I thought like, I can't put my closet into here because this is really small space in here. Um, at the moment, I have a few clothes in here, but I'll use this wardrobe as storage space for, like, my camera equipment and stuff. My queen-size bed, which has always been such a hassle to get into the rooms because it's such a big bed that it, like, pretty much takes up 70% of the space. I have, like, a dressing table, which I really don't like. My dad got it for me, like, ages ago, and ugh. Sorry, everything's a mess by the way. And a bedside table, which also I don't really want. <laughs> Eventually, I will get rid of these blinds which have been in this house since it was created. Um, in case you guys want to see something embarrassing, this is my ceiling. I used to have two really giant Twilight posters sticky taped to my ceiling. Do I regret it? I sure do. I used to lay in bed and just like stare at Edward Cullen from my bed because that's the teenager I was. Is it embarrassing? Pretty much. I also used to like stick random stickers on my wall. Exhibit A, Monokuro Boo. Like just, just random shit. Like what the heck was I thinking as a teenager? Look over here, look at this. I have a clock that has been inactive for like 10 years and just like random pictures. What the heck? Oh, want to see something even more embarrassing? Yeah, it's super embarrassing. It's, it just gets even worse, guys. So yeah, that is my plan for the next week or so. I went to the paint store today and got some paint samples. I am thinking that I would like grey or white colours, basically because I love the colour grey, obviously. Also, I just want something clean, minimalistic, simplistic. This is just 
the journey and I think I'm going to obviously start off with trashing a lot of things into these three boxes and then once that's done I can kind of empty out the space a little bit put down a drop sheet get some paint and get some you know scraper things to scrape off the old paint and this will be a one woman job I'm not going to be getting a professional even though I think that will probably be the wise decision but I really want to see if I can do it myself and if I do then I think I have a future in interior design no jokes probably don't so anyway I just also wanted to say that a big reason why I'm redecorating my room at first I thought like oh my gosh is this just an excuse for me to procrastinate doing actual life goals things or is it like justifiably something productive that will actually make me feel better and make me want to actually be in my room and work and I really thought about it and I was thinking about it for such a long time and I realized like I should just do it and after I do it then I can like you know kind of figure out if it was just me procrastinating or not I don't want the idea of like redecorating to linger in my mind and have that as an excuse to not do work and to not be productive so I'm just gonna do it and get it over with you know what I mean I know it's not as exciting as going on adventures in Sweden but this is pretty adventurous to me because I've never done anything like this before like taking control of my room and it's like painted the walls like this is far beyond my capabilities but I'm really excited to see how it turns out I hope you guys will enjoy this series I don't actually know how long it will take me to actually get everything done I am hoping to aim for like around a week this is just the beginning I will see you guys in my next video talk from Martin mm -hmm.